Hey, good morning there, Sweet Peas. Basic Prepper Mom Myra here. So, we experienced the other night, I'm not gonna lie, I had a freak out moment, about lost my crap. Not gonna lie, gonna be honest about everything here. Um, we experienced <coughs> our cell phones going down. Now, the weird thing is, is that for about a week prior to this, we have had um, cell phone issues at our house with um, just being super slow. Uh, we've got four cell phones and we've got two hotspots. Uh, my daughter has her hotspot down in her trailer on the property that she uses and then my son actually just bought one specifically to kind of boost for his computer because he does all of his college work um, online right now. So he needed obviously fast internet and just our hotspots from our phones weren't doing it. So we got a second booster basically. Anyway, so for about a week prior, we had been experiencing um, very slow download, very slow just play time. Um, you know, things would come in randomly. Sometimes we'd get, you know, dropped calls. We wouldn't get anything. Text would be delayed. Like things were just super slow. And it was really frustrating. I'm like, what is going on? Like all of a sudden, about a week or, about a week or so ago, this started. And I was like, well, it's just really weird. And the even weirder part of this is when we left our property, things seemed to be better. We've never had an issue on our property. And let me just let me just tell you that about a mile from my house is actually a tower, a cell phone tower. So not like we live out in the middle of nowhere. There's actually, I think, four cell towers within a five mile radius of our house, four or five, something like that. Ridiculous. Anyway, so it was kind of weird, but I noticed at my work, um, things were a little slow as well as far as the internet and stuff like that, but specifically even my cell phone at work was a little slow sometimes. I'm like, well, this is really weird. Well, the other night, two nights ago, at our house, like everything just completely dead zone. Like our house was a dead zone. There was not, not only was there not a signal, there was just nothing nothing. If we wanted to call 911, we could not have called 911 because we literally had nothing. Like there was, it was like our phones were just turned off. They were just all shut off. Um, I was at the store and I was trying to get a hold of my husband. It just immediately started, it just went straight to voicemail. And I was pretty upset because we were at the grocery store. My, uh, I didn't have my wallet with me because my daughter, I took her there because she was going to get some stuff. Well, she didn't end up having her wallet when we checked out. She goes, oh my God, my wallet's not in my purse. I'm like, well, I can't help you out here. I just came along for the ride. Trying to call home to see if my husband can bring, uh, bring my wallet at least or hers. Couldn't get through. Had to leave the groceries there, go home and then come back for him. Um, but once we got pulled into the driveway, it was just a dead zone. And I told my husband, I'm like, I have been trying to call, text, everything. Um, he's like, well, that's weird. Now, and my daughter was trying to call my son because he was home. He is on a different network. He's on a different plan. He's kind of, he's on his own plan basically through a different network. So we have T-Mobile. He has, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's through Walmart. We just haven't put him on our plan yet. Um, which I know they use a lot of the Verizon. Actually, they use Verizon Towers. They don't use, I don't think, T-Mobile, but they, they use, I think, Verizon Towers. It's all the same anymore, to be honest. But he didn't have any service either. So it was super weird that just, like, when we pulled our, our, our driveway, dead zone. Um, so my daughter was calling. She finally got service. She was calling T-Mobile to try to figure out what was going on. I was trying uh, on chat with them. Um, I was working out down the street, not even two miles from my house. And I was on chat. I was getting super upset, super frustrated because, you know, of course, they're, they're not helping me. And to be honest, um, they are all, all T-Mobile, probably everybody is overseas. And when they type in their, it, it just does not translate very well. Um, their English is very, sometimes very difficult to understand in a text. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, had to come in 
and um, as I pulled in the driveway, totally lost service. So I lost that whole chat, everything. And I was like, oh my word. Um, finally, I like I said, didn't have service, but my daughter was on the phone with him at the time. So she still had service somewhat enough to talk to him. I got in my car and I drove down the road uh, to the park and ride area where the towers were and um, literally sitting right underneath the towers. And finally got a service or finally got a signal. Sorry, I had a brain fade there for a minute. Um, I, had, I had a rough rough night last night. I had some uh, medical stuff going on last night, so um, I'm recouping. Anyway, um, so talking, finally got a hold of somebody on the phone, talking to them on the phone, and of course, good luck with that. Um, but they couldn't figure out what was going on, and they were telling me something totally different than my daughter was getting told with whoever she was talking to, so regardless. Uh, but I will tell you that the funny part of that conversation is I told him, I said, I can't even call 911. Like, we had a family emergency. I can't call 911. I can't get help. And he said, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Even if you uh, can't call out, you should still be able to call 911. And I said, no, no, you don't understand. It's not that my service was low or I don't have enough service. Like, our phones were dead. Like, dead. There was no calling out. There was no, it was just like it was dead. Um, so he said, well... <laughs> If you go to call 911 and it doesn't work, then all you have to do is go into your settings, do a factory reset, it'll blah, 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 and all these steps. And I go, hold on a second. So if I try to call 911 and it doesn't work, then I should go in and do a factory reset and follow your four steps that you just gave me. He said, yes, correct. And I said, I want you to think about what you just said. Why don't you just, just listen and think about. If I'm calling 911 and it doesn't work, there's obviously an emergency and I'm not going to have time to go through and do a factory reset to once again call them again. Somebody could be literally dying at that point. That makes no sense whatsoever. Um, and I don't think he was quite understanding that, which was super frustrating, but anyway, that's just how it is. Um, we, they made a ticket for my daughter and for myself, two separate tickets. And I do that because that means that nothing will ever happen. Um, and somebody's supposed to call me within 72 hours to see if it's resolved and to see if they, I hope I don't, hope I don't die in 72 hours, right? Hope I don't need medical emergency in 72 hours, whatever. Um, but our phones seem to have now be working okay again everything seems to be okay again and I was very surprised at myself on how I reacted now having a lot been having a lot of health stuff and a lot of emotional stuff going on anyway this did not help but when I could not get out or when I could not get a signal or when I couldn't even use my phone, when I couldn't even watch a video or look something up or whatever the situation, I kind of freaked the freak out, not going to lie. And that really made me look at things a little differently and go, you know, I sit here and I preach about, you know, getting everything in order. If the grid shuts down, are you ready? Um, you know, if, if, if it happens, if crap hits the fan and you've got no communication, if you've got nothing, are you ready? Da, da. That showed me, and I'm sure that it was just a test, uh, on a, on a bigger scale. I'm sure that everything that we've been seeing has just been these little tests, you know, okay, can we, but that was a test for me and I failed miserably. I failed miserably. Now we have um, other communication devices that we could pull out and that we could use in case something happened. So it's not like, it's not like I would be afraid of losing communication with my family, which to be honest, that is, that is a little concern. Um, I don't have enough communication tools for every person in my family, but to be quite honest, if we are in a crap hit the fan scenario, I don't think all of my family members are going to be scattered all over the place anyway. I'm hoping that they, you know, make their way back home. But having said that, that made me think about what we need to do. So what I'm going to do, this is, this is my plan. This is my plan 
first of all, I'm not going to freak the freak out anymore. I need to just take a breath and, and chill, which is what my family told me to do. Um, but I need to um, order more communication devices. And I need to make sure that every single person in my family has one in their vehicle at all times. Um, not that they have to have it turned on, not that they have to use it, but it needs to be in their vehicle, powered up, ready to go in case something like this happens. Um, or, or even, and you know what, that's not actually a bad idea anyway, because if something were to happen that, because we live kind of remotely and there's areas in our, in our place that, that don't get really great service. And it probably would not be a bad idea to have some sort of second communication device anyway um, for, you know, in somebody's vehicle, in your family member's vehicle, if they get stranded somewhere, whatever. So I personally am going to go ahead and order uh, more devices. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> or an old army truck. That's what I need. Um, more communication devices and make sure that everyone has at least one in their truck with them. And if they have, uh, if they require batteries, I'm going to make sure that they have an extra set of batteries, um, in there as well. Um, if they, uh, take a charge, then I will make sure that I have enough portable devices or solar portable chargers in with them along with uh, the charging cords in there. So I want to make sure that whatever the situation, whatever the circumstance, that they at least have some sort of communication to the outside world. Um, so I'm in a, I'm in a, str I'm in a struggle. I do struggle. I'm going to work on doing that um, because this really showed me as far as communication, how much we actually depend on it and how much, if it does go down, um, that it sends this, shockwave almost through your family and through your social circle and through your life. And I didn't realize until it happened. So I'm actually glad it happened. As much as I freaked out, I'm actually glad it happened because I failed miserably on this. Um, since then, I've been listening to other people that there have been cell phone outages the last couple of days all over the place. So it was not just me. It was not just my family. It was not just my house um, that there have been multiple cell phone outages. Um, I do know, I've heard that there were a couple of solar flares, but they weren't really bad solar flares. Um, I don't think they were bad enough to disrupt anything. Um, so is this or has this been a test, uh, whether it's from inside or outside, has this been some sort of little test of, hey, okay, this is what we can do. Um, so I, I don't know. We'll see, but whether it was or not, it was a test for me. It was absolutely a test for me. So now I know what I need to do in order to move forward and to be a little bit more prepared. And to be honest, these little tests, tests that happen are probably a good thing for us because it does allow us to see where our weak points are. It does allow us to see where we need to improve. It does allow us where we can see, okay, we need to strengthen these areas and these areas. I, just give me a moment, please. And these, air, she wants, she wants to go to work. She's like, okay, we're done. Um, and where our weak areas are, and where we need to really, really pick things up, and where we're slacking. So, I know, I'm working on it. Uh, so that's what, uh, that's what I wanted to touch base today because it was a very big wake up call, and I think that we rely so much on this cute little device here and we rely so much to just be able to immediately connect with whoever or whatever we're doing that when that it does not happen we've gotten ourselves so accustomed to it in our everyday life that when that doesn't happen we immediately freak out and shut down <clears throat> and this was definitely a test for me so big slap in the face which is great all right she's telling me it's time to go so I will not keep you any longer. Uh, once again, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. I hope you guys have a wonderful, amazing day, and we will talk to you soon. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. We will talk to you soon. Have a great day.